if you're planning to come into the UK or you are already in the UK and you haven't gotten an accommodation, there's probably something that you are not doing right and I'm here to tell you. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is chioma you can call me fab oma i'm a youtuber nigerian youtuber based in the uk my videos are about fashion beauty lifestyle and family i recently relocated to the uk and um, since then i've been dishing out subtle videos about uk in general uh, accommodation is one of like the major things when you move to a new place of course everybody needs a place to stay and it is not very easy to get an accommodation here in uk don't get me wrong i'm not one of the preachers of oh don't come to uk uk is difficult yes it is difficult but where is not difficult like i feel like I'm a, I'm a very optimistic person and i believe that there's always a way in any situation right but we must not overlook the issues with some certain things here in uk which is why i'm here to give you tips on how to get an accommodation in uk okay um so i'm basically going to be using my story or our story as an example if you don't know i'm here with my husband uh you can catch up on my previous videos to know how we relocated to the uk but yeah so i'm going to be using our story as an example so that you can learn from it easily and i'm going to be inserting videos so i was here before my husband and i was the one that did like the major part of the accommodation search i was only just sending pictures to my husband because he was still back in nigeria so um i viewed a couple of accommodations or i, I viewed a couple of apartments when i came into the uk but then when i came in i um, everyone was saying how difficult it was to get an apartment and i didn't think it was going to be that difficult for me because i was a student or oh, i mean i am a student so i just felt like somehow somehow my case would be easy well i i don't get me wrong my my case was easy in jesus name but guys i viewed a couple of our, our apartments before we finally got our own place um it was not very easy like it was not very easy because the landlords the agents were looking for a lot of requirements that at some point and in my head i'm like all of these things back where i'm coming from in nigeria it's not that difficult i mean you want a place you go for the viewing you tell them you like it you get the place in the space of one week if you have your money and you're ready you can actually move into your apartment back in nigeria so um as I, when i started looking for apartments the first place that i went to was um like a room and a parlor i don't really know what they call it here but it's like a mini flat a room and a parlor and then kitchen toilet just for us like for my husband and i right i'm going to insert a video because i had done um a video back when i was away from youtube when i just came into uk so i had done like a couple of compilations and i was like i'm going to attach it to this video so after some time i'm going to insert the clip and then you will see the kind of apartments that i viewed i viewed an apartment i liked it i liked the environment i liked the surrounding but the problem i had with the apartments was the way it was structured like the sitting room had one kind of roof falling down the room also had one kind of roof so i wasn't even okay with it and then um i'm i, I can't quite remember but the bill the rent for that place was about 400 and something minus bills so the gas um the lights the like other bills council tax everything was not included in that the 450 i think so i'm not sure but i'll put it on the screen if i remember that was only for the rent right only for the rent guys when i viewed it i was i i sent the videos to my husband and we agreed that we're not going to get the place so this is the this is what the place looked like okay here and then you can um, so so there's a kitchen area oh, yeah i'll start this and i'll show you around okay. so 
Um, this room, probably use this room as the bedroom, most oh. people do. But you could swap it around, you could make it the living room. Okay. There is a TV aerial um, socket. Does the TV come with the room? No, these belong to the past um, tenant. Okay. I suspect that it probably doesn't work. That's why it's been oh, left. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. So, bedroom area, bathroom, um, got a decent shower. Um, oh, nice. Just on the corner. Oh, nice. So it's not a palace, but um, it is dry. There's no yeah. mold. Um, it's cool. It's old, but it's... You what know, is it, this? That's a heater. Oh, okay. Like an electric heater. Oh, and this is the bathroom area? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. And then the mirror. The lights, everything um, working? Um, good question. <laughs> you gotta be sure. No, you're not. Not working? I don't know if the electric's on actually. Oh, so I guess the no, electric is not on. No, I don't think it's on. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. No, it wasn't. We could sort that out. So this is the kitchen. Kitchen, yeah. So what have you got? You've got an electric hob, electric oven, storage space, and then you've got a small fridge with a freezer shelf. Oh. And again, there's a small radiator okay. on the wall behind you. And then there are these things. Okay. Uh it's a storage space. Ah, not bad. Okay. Well, then that just means bedroom. Uh, the living space. I mean, the previous persons, you you can see, has used this as the bedroom. And the bedroom. That and that as the bathroom's the... there. So I would have thought that you would use that as the bedroom, but. Um, so I guess this will be the living space. Well, I think I'd rather use this as the room. Yes, because it's bigger. I think most people would. Yeah. So that's the wardrobe that comes with the house. No, there's no furnishings. That, again, that was left by the, the previous tenant. I mean, if you were really, if you really wanted it, um, you might okay. be able to have it. Um, but you would have to ask, and we would have to check. Okay. Um, but they've left it, so. So that's it, right? Yeah guys after viewing that the next place that i viewed i didn't actually go for the viewing physically i just had them send me a video because they said it was going to be a virtual viewing so they sent me a video of the place and then i viewed it and uh it was not bad it was more like a studio apartment and the bill was like about um 500 and something pounds minus bills i've, oh, I've also forgotten because this all of this happened in like february so it's this is why i already entering me so i can't quite remember but it was about 500 and something pounds minus the bills so i was kind of running away from houses that their rent didn't include bills because i just feel, i just felt like we, i mean we're just getting here we cannot we need to cut our coat according to our sizes so we needed to get a place that was economical right we just we didn't mind our budget was like from 500 or maybe 450 to 500 but with bills inclusive so we were really not like keen on getting places that had like that's where without they had just their rent without the bills right so this is what the second place looks like so this is the apartment there's a washing machine, there's a cool car, there's the wardrobe, bed, you have your fridge, and your microwave. And there's the bedroom. viewed some couple of other places but i did not take videos because i don't know i wasn't just myself at the time so but then the final place that i viewed that i really liked uh and my husband also liked because it was supposed to be a joint decision even though he was not here so um, i'm going to insert the video this place right it, it's like a flat it's like a shared apartment but the rooms here are studio they're all studio apartments. So it's more like a flat 
with different rooms it's a two it's a two-story building yeah so we stay upstairs this place is um most of the rooms here are studio it's only two rooms here that are not studio and um, that is where we stay we stay in one of the rooms and fortunately one of my friend stays in the other flat that is not a studio because we were both looking for a place at the time and i was the one that went for the viewing for both of us so i just told her that we should take this place together so basically uh it's it's that they're all studios like i said and the views are everything inclusive so the apartment just ticked all the boxes for me because we know we wanted a place that we, we didn't want to share toilets because um before we got a place before my husband came i had stayed with a couple of people and those people stayed in shared apartments and i mean it, the experience was not palatable because uh, i mean having to share toilets don't, don't get me wrong it's it's okay for some people but for me i just i'm just more comfortable i prefer sharing kitchen or the sitting room to sharing toilets because i feel like the toilet is like my private space i just want everything happening there to just be my own thing do you understand so this place kind of ticked all the boxes for us because we have our toilets here to ourselves my husband and i and then um the room is quite okay based on the size and everything is just very okay so the only thing that we get to share guys uk weather is quite bipolar so the sun is going to be going up and down just in case you're wondering <laughs> yeah so um the only place that we get to share is the kitchen because it's um just for my friend and i because other rooms are studios and they have their kitchen so if you don't know what a studio apartment is a studio apartment basically has the toilet is a room that has a kitchen and the toilet in it so there's nothing bringing you out of your room you have everything you need in your room so that is what a studio apartment is like here but the reason why we did not take one, any of the studios here was because um, the price was way above our budget and um, there weren't even any studios available by the time we came for viewing. So we had to settle for one of the rooms. So the next video you're going to see now is when I came to view the apartment here and then I had to pick one of it. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you the video and I'm going to let you know which one I went for and why I went for it. Alright, so there's two rooms that you will ask for. Yeah, I'm viewing two. Yeah, that's what I just said, yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, room number six. Okay. Is there room for you? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> And this has a like a hose up? What, sorry? Uh, all the other sides in the Yeah, yeah, there's two left, yeah. So number six and number 11, and these are the ones left at the moment. Yeah. And uh, this one's a little storage room in there as well. Where's that? Just behind there. Oh, okay. Okay, for the storage. Laundries for everybody. Okay. So you've got four washing machines, then you've got four dryers as well. Okay. And then everybody can use the communion area. So the sofa, the dining table and stuff as well. Okay. But yeah, this so I obviously went for the flat eleven because um I just felt like I needed a space for my wardrobe because if you notice the other flat didn't have a wardrobe it just had a hanging space or where you could just hang your clothes so I didn't want although it was my friend that took that one but then I took the one that had like a wardrobe space because I needed I love space in the room I don't like to see my things everywhere 
so i wanted a place that i could we could put our stuffs and then close it and then the room can be like neat enough so that was why we went i went for this one and my husband also bought the idea and then we paid for the room the bill for this place what we pay here is 575 pounds per month and it is with like all bills inclusive so we're not paying any council tax we're not paying for electricity we're not paying for um water we're not paying for we're not paying for anything right everything is together in the bill which takes me to the next point i'm about to make now so looking for accommodation in uk is easy but at the same time not easy it's just that the reason why people find it very difficult is because most times they ask for ridiculous things that you might not be able to see people that would want to do these things for you except these people really like take you as their g's like their pals that like, even your friends might not want to do this kind of things for you for example they usually ask for guarantor before you get an accommodation in uk the first one of the things that they ask for is a guarantor now this guarantor they expect your guarantor to have lived in the uk for a period of time and to earn a certain amount of money for example my guarantor i was told to bring the guarantor that is earning at least twenty five thousand pounds in a year so this guarantor is also going to have to provide his or her pay slip is also going to have to provide a reference from his or her place of work this guarantor is going to sign a couple of documents stating that if you ever default in paying your rent the landlord or the agents should come for him or her so this is the reason why a lot of people are always skeptical about doing this whole guarantor for people because it is not easy to be someone's guarantor when it comes to getting an accommodation in uk another thing that they will ask you for is your pay slip and where you work so it is important for you to ha to have started working or to have like a reasonable account statements to show them that oh i'm working i'm earning this is how much i'm earning i can afford because most of the time they ask you for this because they want to know that you can afford to pay your rent so this is why they ask you for this another thing that they ask for is reference so after asking for guarantor they will ask you for reference now most times this reference is usually a work reference and a or a character reference they want to know the kind of person you are they want to know that you are you, you, you are someone who has integrity and you are someone who is basically well-mannered okay so they just want to know that somebody you know can attest that this is the kind of person you are right and another thing that they ask for which is very important for you to get a place in the uk please have your money you i mean when i say have your money i mean it in every sense of it because getting an accommodation here they don't only need your rent they need a couple of deposits you need to most times you most accommodations in the uk they will ask you to pay six months rent like upfront like you're paying for six months straight so if your rent is 575 you're going to pay initial like initially the first time you're paying you're going to pay 575 times six do the math so they, they just want to use that money to hold you down to make sure that number one you don't decide to wake up on money and move out of the house number two they know that okay they're not having to disturb you for rent for the next six months so you're good so most times a lot of people prefer this and on the other hand a lot of people don't like this because they, they just believe like how am I supposed to get a, like the bulk of the money at the same time? So most times people prefer accommodations that will just tell you, okay, pay for the first month and pay for the second month upfront. So which means that you're paying for the second month rent at the first month at the same time at the first point of moving in. And then subsequently you're, you start paying after the second month for other months. I don't know if that makes any sense i don't know if there's something else that i'm leaving out but for us we didn't have to pay six months up front we we're given an option to pay our um first month rent and also pay um a, a certain amount of money just in case we spoil anything in the house before we move out and then the second option was for us to pay our first rent and also pay another 
rent that equals to the first rent but this other rent is going to be returned to us when we're moving out if we don't spoil anything in the house so that's more like um, um a caution fee or something yeah that's a caution fee so yeah that was basically it but basically if you want to get an accommodation in the uk just brace up have your guarantor ready have your reference ready have your pay slip ready have your character reference or any other kind of reference ready and most importantly money your money is important in the uk uk is i don't know it's one of the most exp expensive countries to move to and that's on period because everything here costs money that's just it accommodation is one of them so yeah i've been able to break all of this down if i'm missing anything i'll probably leave it on the screen but there are also a couple of sites that you can get accommodation from uh i'm going to leave them on the screen we have zopla you have rights move you have open rent you have gum tree you have to be very careful as well when you're looking for accommodation please don't get your accommodation from facebook marketplace i know that um okay let me not make it look like i'm trying to spoil the business for the owner but most of the time you have so much cameras on facebook market so please be careful when you're dealing with anybody from facebook market let me put it in that in that context okay thank you for watching my video and i hope you learned a thing or two please drop your comments in the comment section any questions you have at all and please share this video a lot of people might need it it's going to definitely help them and uh yeah i'm gonna see you in my next video bye you know just what you do, you do.